Hello again. In this video we are going to be covering chapter 5, section 2 of the Easy Builder Pro Manual, Device Communications. We will discuss how to control a local PLC, how to control a remote PLC, and how to control a remote HMI. So let's get started. When creating a project in Easy Builder Pro, after you select the model you want to use, the first thing you're prompted to do is to select a communication driver. So this is the dialog that we use to set up our device communication settings. We select, uh, here we can name it, name it anything you want or have a generic name. Um, you can select the device type from our massive list of drivers. Here's all the manufacturers and then within these manufacturers there are several other drivers. Um, so we're going to look at uh, just Modbus right now. And uh, here of course are all the different Modbus protocols that we support. Um, so if we're going to look at a uh, serial driver, here we want to uh, select the serial protocol that we want to use within Modbus. I'm going to select RS485 2-wire. Under the settings, uh, you select the actual serial properties that you need to set to match your device. Um, we've got a uh, timeout that you can set for a maximum time without communications before it gives an indicator. You'll get a PLC no response. And then you can also define a turnaround delay to allow time for bus traffic. Now if we had selected a Ethernet driver, of course we have Ethernet here selected now, and under the settings tab we would have an area to set up our IP address. Now this is the IP address of the device that the HMI is talking to. The port is probably fine. Here again you can set a uh, timeout and a turnaround delay and number of resending commands. If it's a protocol that requires a station number you can define it here or you can dynamically define the station number in the uh, register addressing and you can see how to do that down here. Um, also, we can define the size of the packets that are sent and received. And you can uh, limit the address ranges. Now, these variables will change according to the driver that you're using, but they are pretty much the same. Now, in order to add a remote PLC, we first need to add a new HMI, the one that resides on the remote network that we're talking to. So we want to set the IP address for the remote HMI. Then we can add a new device and uh, you see we're set up here for remote and here is the IP address. Now whichever drivers are, are set up on the remote HMI device we can set up the same driver here. So let's say on the remote device we had a, uh, let's make it interesting say we had a Rockwell Ethernet IP DF1 then we would set the actual IP address for the device 
under our remote. Now in our project we'll be able to access these tags or these registers through the remote HMI. So OK and OK. So within our project here now when we go to make objects you see we've got our local HMI registers that we can access. We've got our local Modbus registers from our local device that we're connected to. We've got our remote HMI registers that we can access. And then we've got a remote PLC that we can access with all the standard addressing. And it's as simple as that. Thanks for watching and be sure to come back and see more of our instructional videos.